Hi, I'm Kevin Johnson, CEO of Juniper Networks. I'm here in Hong Kong participating in Asia D, and this is my five and five. Yeah, so this, this mobile internet is a very important market trend uh, globally in the industry. And the rapid adoption of smartphones and tablets uh, is really starting to change the landscape. Not only the, the set of uh, issues and opportunities that service providers have to manage, as the amount of traffic that's being carried over these wireless networks just grows and grows exponentially. But also, uh, it has to do with the fact that with more mobile users using these mobile devices, how do you secure those end devices? So at Juniper, we're focused on the market trends of mobile internet and cloud computing. Mobile internet, we're doing things with uh, a product we have called Junos Pulse that secures that end uh, device, whether it's an Android device, an iOS device from Apple, uh, iPad, uh, iPhone, uh, or many, many other uh, operating systems on those end devices. We're also innovating in a way that helps carriers uh, manage and, and uh, carry the, the growing traffic coming from the mobile internet. Our MX3D router, our mobile next software, uh, that enables solutions for carriers. So mobile internet's a very important market trend and it's one of the top priorities for Juniper. Uh, well, certainly there's a lot of hype around cloud computing and you know, I think much of that hype is, uh, is starting to translate to some reality. And the pieces of it that I think are, are, are critical in this uh, discussion are the fact that there's economic benefit to customers who are centralizing their servers and storage devices in these data centers and then virtualizing those devices to make better use of, uh, of the capital that they invest in and then finally automating those data centers. And so uh, from Juniper's perspective, we're focused very heavily on what we can do to play a role in helping enable those solutions. Uh, and the key place that we've been focused has been this uh, technology called QFabric. And QFabric is, a, is a, a, a new architecture and a new set of technology to help connect these servers and storage devices together in these large cloud computing data centers. Well, as I travel around the world and visit with our customers, I think customers are in different stages of how they're uh, embracing and adopting uh, the concept of cloud computing. Uh, many customers are thinking about it first just as a private cloud. The way they're putting their data center together and the way they're building their own internal architecture uh, is key to how they're taking that first step to take advantage of this, uh, this type of infrastructure. Uh, other customers then are looking to combine that private uh, cloud with utilization of a public cloud for things like disaster recovery or for burst capacity. Uh, and then certainly uh, others, uh, including Juniper, are looking to uh, cloud-based applications like Salesforce.com as a way to, uh, to enable uh, business value and, and take advantage of uh, the fact that you can look to a third party to not only manage the infrastructure, but also provide you the application. Juniper's been very focused on both service provider and enterprise technology as it relates to networking. Uh, in the enterprise and the shift to cloud computing, we've been very focused on delivering a new architecture, a new set of technology that we call QFabric. And QFabric is an entirely new way to connect uh, hundreds or thousands of servers together and storage devices in these large data centers. We think the combination of QFabric in these data centers plus the work we're doing in security, end-to-end -end security, and then the work that we're doing in routing to help data centers connect to other data centers and provide the wide area network. So it's the investment and innovation around things like QFabric, our security offerings, and, uh, and our routing technology that we think is providing a, a great uh, set of solutions for enterprise customers. Well, you know, I like to believe that uh, the fact that uh, networks are now connecting and empowering more people around the world is really the enabling thing that I think is uh, unleashing a uh, wave of innovation, whether it's innovation on consumer tech for these smartphones and tablets, or infrastructure tech in the area of cloud computing, virtualization, new form factors, uh, uh, or new uh, architectures on these data centers. And you know, I, I like to believe that uh, our, our vision of connect everything and empower everyone is helping contribute to that uh, wave of innovation, both here in Asia and around the world.